Hello, this is Emily, and this is my nine things you should never ever say to anybody ever. I decided to do this topic because I don't know if any of you heard of him, but Kid President, he did 20 things that you should say more often. And I'm like, well, if you got the 20 things you should say more often, you should have 10, not, 10 things that you should, shouldn't should say ever. But, um, I, I didn't, I couldn't think of 10, so it's 9, so sorry. The first one is, you look like my dog. Okay, people don't want to hear that they look like your dog. Even if your dog is really cute or something, they still don't want to hear that because most people don't want to look like dogs. Because even even though most dogs are really cute and everything, dogs are known for being smelly and gross and drooly and everything. And, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want to look like smelly and drooly and gross and everything. Okay, next is, you smell horrible. Okay, don't say that to anyone ever. Because they don't know what they smell like most of the time. Because, I mean, sometimes you, you'll you smell bad and you have no idea how you smell. And everybody has their own specific smell. And it's just, like, connected with their house. But you can re never really smell yours. So, just, if they if they smell too horrible, then just, like, kind of avoid them. And if, they're best fr if you're best friends with that horrible smelling person, then maybe you could, like, just bring some perfume the next day. And, like, just not just behind their back just just to get rid of the smell okay next one i didn't brush my teeth this morning well no one wants to hear that gross you should just keep that kind of thing to yourself and if you didn't then you probably should chew gum or brush your teeth because yeah that's just gross you brush your teeth this morning She's my kitty cat. You probably recognize her from Spider Cat. Spider Cat. Okay. The next one is... You look like that really fat, ugly actor. Okay. People don't want to hear that. Gross. Most, most of the time, you probably shouldn't reference to actors because... It just depends what the person thinks. If they think that actor looks really, really ugly or something and you say that they look like them, then they're going to think that you think that they look ugly. Or, like, some people think that Miley Cyrus is really ugly, and some people think that she's not. But, um, just, just, just take, just take my advice and don't say, don't reference that you look like an actor, because you never know what that person is gonna think. I know where you live. That, that's creepy. Okay, you should never say that to somebody, because it kind of goes to a different level of, are you stalking me? And you you don't want to be the um, school stalker, because that's bad. And you don't want to be that. And it's weird. So just don't say I know where you live. And there's some certain cases, like, where if you're having a sleepover at someone's house, and you've never been there before, and then you say I know where you live, that's still a little creepy. But if you've been there a dozen times, and they go, do you need my address or something? And you say, oh, I know where you live. Then that's okay. But just... I would avoid that sentence. No, you can't use my toilet. Okay, that's just plain rude and mean. Okay, if some if some um weirdo just kind of open like knocks on your door and goes, "Can I use your bathroom?" and he looks all weird and he's suspicious, I probably wouldn't l let him use my bathroom. But I would I would go direct him to the nearest public restroom, and then maybe he could. Yeah, go to the restroom there, because, I mean, if I do let him in, there's a possible chance I will be murdered, and you don't want that. But if it's, like, your best friend, and they're over, and you go, oh, no, I, you can't use my restroom, <laughs> well, that's just horrible. What if you were at their house, and you needed to use the restroom? When someone has to go, they have to go. Just, just let them use it. And if they're so disgusting that you don't want them to use your bathroom, then you should probably, like, just clean it when they're done, or something. Yeah. Are you sure you want to eat that? You already look a little chubby. Okay, that's horrible to say to somebody. Fat people hate hearing that they look chubby. It's just it's just kind of mean. And so I wouldn't say that to anybody and like just just never like mention how so, how much someone is eating or drinking cuz they don't want to hear it. Um What's wrong with your face? 
Okay, that one is horrible to say to somebody because then you're referring that they're like ugly or messed up or something. And if it's like your best friend and they have a mask on or makeup on and you can obviously tell that their face was not naturally green, you go, what's wrong with your face? Then it's still a little bit rude, but if it's, if it's your best friend, then it's probably okay. But if it's like an old man who has a giant scar across their face or a, um... Or like a, a Down syndrome person, you shouldn't say that because they just want to. They just want to feel normal. You should treat them like normal people. They are normal. They just look a little bit funny or different. I mean, they're just to to they're totally fine though. Okay, next one. Did you brush your hair today? Okay, girls do not want to hear that. I don't really know what the guy's perspective is, but girls. Do not want to hear that at all. Uh, a guy at my school told his girlfriend that, and th she broke up with him. I, I witnessed the whole thing. It was kind of funny, but I thought she took it a little bit extreme. But just that's the power of telling someone that their hair looks unbrushed or asking if they brushed their hair because then you're like kind of referring them, oh, your hair looks so, like, scraggly today. And, okay, the last one is never wear that outfit again. Okay, plain rude. Who wants to hear that? So maybe maybe the person didn't do their laundry or something, and this is the last thing they own. Or maybe they're so poor and they can't afford anything else. You have no idea what's happening at home. You can't just say, oh, I hate your outfit. That's it's just so mean. And everyone has a little bit different fashion choice. But just because they don't dress like you or dress like the norm, like normal people do, then that doesn't mean that they're any different or weirder or something. But, and if it's your best friend and they're wearing something horrible, then you should just ignore it. If you're truly best friends with that person, then you should just accept them the way that they are. You chose best friends for a reason, and if you don't like them because of the way they look or something, then you probably shouldn't be best friends with them anymore. And if someone does that to you, the opposite, like if someone doesn't like how you dress, then just ignore them, and if they're your friend, then just say, well, if you don't like the way I dress, and. You should probably not be my friend anymore or something. Okay, that's that came out a little funny. Well, okay, that's it. But this is Emily Turner's nine things you should never, ever say, ever. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye.